Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally quite a bit today. And this, of course, had major effects on especially the currencies, um, but also most of the commodities that are also rallying significantly at this point. If US dollar continues to decline, then we'll probably see commodities go even higher as there's a negative correlation between US dollar and uh, commodities, precious metals, and so on. So at the moment, we are rallying most likely up towards the 20 exponential up here at 19.15. Break below this candlestick here could open the door to the very lows of 89.15. So let's look at oil. So there's a lot of action in oil today. We went all the way up towards 68.63, and that basically broke this candlestick here. And now we are most likely going to target 70. But um, we did pull back quite a bit. And um, due to the fact that the US dollar most likely will appreciate the next few days, we could see this pull back towards the middle of the bullish band or probably at the 50 moving average in, in basically worst case scenario that is at 63 but the middle of the bullish band has been an area where this has been bouncing from technical indicators they are fairly mixed macd is uh, bullish rsi cci stochastic sorry is uh, flat cci is bullish and the rsi is also flat at this current stage so let's look at natural gas so natural gas did go much higher in the early the end of the session, got very close to these previous uh, candlesticks here, and then just gave most of those gains back. And um, that is a kind of worrying sign. Last time we did go to these highs, it basically broke towards the bottom of the bullish band, but it's to be seen whether or not that happens this time. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still uh, underneath the signal line, still bearish, but it's about to cross. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. We could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band before continuing higher. We are very, very much in an uptrend, and uh, this is an area, if you also go back here, that has been very difficult to get through in the past. So let's look at copper. So copper is just hanging around just above the 20, exponential, uh, 20 simple moving average in the middle of the bullish band. And uh, as long as that is the case, it usually just builds up momentum in order to go higher. If it were to break below the 20 exponential, that could open the middle to the bottom of the bullish band at the 4.4 or even the 4.3 at the 50 moving average. 50 moving average has been the very bottom of this market for a very long time. So pullbacks towards that area usually bounce to the upside. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat so let's look at gold so gold did pull back a little bit today it is uh, kind of matter just kind of expected after this massive rally here to the upside and that we are also testing the 1900 level and have kind of stuck right underneath the 1900 level so a pullback towards the 20 exponential down here at 1860 or 1815 that could be expected before going higher. It doesn't look like we're going to completely crash here, but due to the fact that the US dollar also will st most likely will start uh, appreciating and we are at a significant resistance level, this could pull back before going higher. If you look at technical indicators, they are also signaling that they are going um, to go um, south or momentum is going to become bearish. MACD is uh, crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. Stochastic is flat. CCI is turning around, still very, uh, still in positive territory. And the RSI is also overbought and also turning around. So let's look at silver. So silver had got rejected here at the 28.49 and uh, pulled back towards the middle of the bullish band. That has been where this has been bouncing from so we could see another day down here and then just continue bouncing to the upside if we were to break the 20 exponential then we have the 50 down here at 26.34 dollars 
So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD has crossed the signal line and becoming bearish. Stochastic is flat, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So very mixed signals for the, for, from those technical indicators. So let's look at platinum. So platinum did rally up towards the 50 moving average and got rejected again. Not a very good sign for, for platinum. We need to break above the 50 in order to go back towards these previous highs, and we have tested it three times. Now it's the fourth time we have tested it and have re been rejected um, every single time. Technical indicators are slowly turning around though. So MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is still, um, still bearish, but the RSI is becoming bullish at this point. If we take out this candlestick here, then we could drop all the way down, down to 1100. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallion continues to rally. We are above the middle of the bullish band, and that is a very bullish shine at this point. If we can get a red another uh, closing above the middle of the bullish band, then we could go towards the very uh, top here at 3000. You can see that uh, technical indicators are turning around. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, RSI is bullish, and the MACD is about to cross the signal line here within the next few trading days. Break below these kind of secure, then we can drop all the way down to 2500. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium pulled back today after a quite a nice run from, from 2315 all the way up towards the 2488. And now we have pulled back towards the middle of the bullish band and have bounced from there. So that's a fairly good sign. If we could stabilize here, then we could go back towards the previous highs. If we break down, then the levels of roughly 23.18 or 50 moving average it should be a significant support. Technical indicators are frankly all over the place. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is flat, and the RSI is becoming bearish at this point. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has gotten all the way up towards uh, 18,326, which is also above these previous highs here, and but has pulled back. So at this point, we could pull back towards the middle of the bullish band or even the 50 moving average. Middle of the bullish band is probably more, more uh, plausible. Um, to the fact that we have already have this pullback very recently so pull back down here then we could basically go towards the upside if we we take out this candlestick here then we could also target 19,000. technically the are all fairly bullish at this current stage so let's look at sugar so sugar has uh, rallied yet again today we are trading at 0 0.1770 Technical indicators are all looking really bullish at this point. Even the MACD is crossing the signal line, indicating that this will most likely go and retest the very highest up here. We tested it here, here, and also here. And if we manage to break above this level here, then we're probably looking at 0 0.19. Get rejected here, could drop this towards the middle of the bullish band, or probably all, all the way down to the 50 moving average. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has finally rallied today, but we got towards the middle of the bullish band and it got rejected there. It's still a fairly encouraging sign as this has proven to be massive resistant, this area here. If we manage to break above the middle here, then we could go back towards these previous highs that we tested here. It's roughly at 0 0.90. If you look at technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, RSI is bullish, and the MACD is right underneath the signal line. So let's look at COA. So also here, it did rally quite significantly up towards the 2464 and then got rejected really heavily. Technical indicators are all over the place. So they're not a lot of help. Um, according to this, we're right at the 50 moving average. Uh, break below this candlestick here could drop us all the way back towards the bottom. But the take out of this previous candlestick here could open the door to the 200 and also the very highs of the bullish band. So let's look at wheat. 
So we really took off the day, Ross up roughly 5%, rallied toward the top of the middle of the Bullinger band, and then gave most of those gains back. Taking the indicators are all turning around at its current stage. We can see that Stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, RSI is bullish, and the MACD is right underneath the signal line. So we did have, well, first of all, a massive rally here, significant fall, towards uh, 638 and then we rally towards the uh, middle of the bullish band we got rejected here so it doesn't really mean that we are going to go back to all, all the previous highs if we get a closing above the middle of the bullish band then yes that we could probably go towards these highs of 768 but rejection here and a take out of these previous lows here could drop this back towards the 200 moving average so, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.